Rami Ma wanted figure skaters in this music video called All The Way Up. I brought my camera, I took pictures. That's how I kind of started working with Gucci Mane, how I started working with Cardi B, being able to shoot listening parties for Wiz Khalifa, like Meek Mill. My name is Florence Ngala. Most people call me Flo. I'm 23 years old from Harlem, New York, and I am a photographer. So when I was younger, I used to not even want to put the lens cap on my film camera. I made up this term called a photographer's guilt if I like missed a moment and like oh, I can never get this back. I first picked up a camera when I was 13. My professional start was only about two and a half years ago. I was um, a figure skater for a long time and Rami Ma wanted figure skaters in this music video called All The Way Up. I brought my camera, I took pictures, and I ended up just kind of sending them to the producer, the director, just kind of hoping that someone would see them and like them. Basically, that's how I kind of started working with Gucci Mane, how I started working with Cardi B, being able to shoot listening parties for Wiz Khalifa, like Meek Mill. So my father, he was a graphic designer. He unfortunately passed away in 2008 and he didn't get to see me become an artist. I would like to think that uh, we all get our artistic ability from my father. If I could take anyone's portrait, it would definitely be uh, my father's. And he was such a presence and such a swagger. He worked so hard and he was just the best. So I've been able to shoot some of like the biggest like celebrity in the world, but like I, ca I can't bring him back. So that really breaks my heart. I would have. I would have loved to be able to capture, capture my dad. Before I was shooting other people and stuff, I, I always felt like taking pictures of myself helped me like understand what I liked about photo and me being like my first subject. It gave me like the, the range to do whatever I wanted and like to explore. I think today I'm interested in doing like kind of something tighter. First I would like put on live view and like focus on like whatever it is I would be sitting on and it's like super super trial and error which is also really good we used to have a ladder up here where I like literally stood up on the ladder and I think my sister had to help me with that self-portraiture is it's like fun to do by yourself but sometimes it's just dangerous so my mom and like my brother and sister I have had to be like can you just come and just like press the button for me please because I can't like walk up and down the ladder ten times now I kind of know like what my face needs to feel like for it to look the way I want it to if that makes sense I've been up here so many times. I've pretty much used like every like ledge you see here as a tripod. I've been up there before. I did like a jumping photo up there when I was like 15, 16. I took a photo of my brother like walking up there. When it comes to photography, like it's so beneficial to understand really the technical elements of, of a camera and how it works. It, it just gives you the, the room to, to create what you want and, and know what you need to change and what you need to alter to get the image you want to get. Hold on, sorry. Sometimes I'll come up here and like I'll know what I want the end image to look like. And when I shoot it, I I know that maybe it doesn't look the way I want it to in the camera, but through like editing, like bringing out some colors, saturating, whatever, cropping. I think the editing is also another aspect of it. So a lot of people can take really good work, but they don't edit it in a way that maybe evokes the emotion or like the feeling that they want to come from their work. What is this? Like doing on the no, camera. You dropped it. Hey, you did. I got it fixed. Look, it's here. Oh. You need to like watch a video or something. I need to start charging. Wow. You. Okay, so last time you shot them, it was on Lennox, but it was also actually right here. They were such a classic couple. Shooting in this part felt like super nostalgic. Try the 35 1.4. It's in one of the black bags. All of the photos that I get, I feel like are on accident. <laughs> I take a photo and it'll just like happen to be magical, but that's just because the people look good, yeah. the place looks good. How can I be like, like make more, it intentional? Yeah, like I need to be more intentional with my shoots. I feel like you really think about what you want to capture and things, and I think you have to just remember that as like a guiding standard when you're shooting. But you always tell me that I want the exact photo that I want, and as a photographer, I should like not do that. Well, like if you go into something and and it's not working. I feel like people shouldn't get so caught up. And the more you shoot, you'll learn that you can't be so comfortable. I think that's like the power of photography. Like when I shoot, it's like, 
I shoot a bunch, but the selects and like the things that I actually end up like liking and capturing, it really is about like how it makes me feel. Yeah. Because I think that's what resonates with people. I feel like it's interesting to see how all of us have picked up like design, yeah. art, artistry, like the fact that I was into design is so random. Like he did influence sports. Influence. No, no, I think it's dad's, like for real. It's just, it's just really weird. When I was applying to college and I found some of his college records, I remember seeing that he did advertising and design mm -hmm. and I was like, I had no idea. Like, I remember him like showing us stuff. Like, I remember looking at his old stuff, but I never like the, the fact that we did the same thing or I wanted to do the same thing and I had no idea that he had done it in school. It was super bizarre. Yeah. He was totally like, what's the word? A perfectionist. Me meticulous. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But it's ironic because I don't think that I'm like that with my work. So I think you're going to do a good job though. Just focus on like what your vision is and then the flow changes. The flow. <laughs> Well, good luck. Make sure you like send me any questions you might have about the camera and stuff. All right. Or like, you know, I'll call you if it doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but hello. You really will. The shutter speed. The ISO. My photos are black. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it stuck on bulb? <laughs> <laughs> ah, man. Yeah. Yo.